you know, with our products, we don't necessarily have to show returns. So uh, how important is that? Like, would, would you say, like, is that a good thing for potential borrowers to be able to get more loans if they don't have to show, you know, their their 1040s and they can like, we'll just use 12 months bank statements per se instead of uh, going after a tax return. What's the advantage, would you say? I mean, you were talking earlier about how, you know, CPAs don't even like if you share your tax return, right, with a third party. Like, Yeah, you know, I, it, it, I can see Merit not disclosing the return for, you know, a, the two sides of the coin is it, it shows a lot more than your bank statements. Sure. But it also shows a lot more than your bank statements. It shows you're eating a Taco Bell and in and out and it, you know. You know, and there's a lot of there's a lot of information on a return that, that right. you might not it, it, it's not relevant to, to credit worthiness or getting a loan sure. and you don't really want that. You know, if you if you have six figures worth of medical expenses because you have some obscure disease that you're afraid of about being discriminated against because right. of that, I mean that that's there that's on your return and that might not be what you want out in the in um, others to know. And you mentioned that on the preparers, absolutely yes. So we in addition to the tax side of it, one of my subspecialties is we advise uh, return preparers and tax professionals on their ethics and licensing issues, et cetera. And we at least counsel them, and most, if they didn't already get this recommendation from us, will have a provision in their engagement agreement that disclaims third-party reliance and affirmatively tells taxpayers, do not use your tax return for third-party reliance. Hmm. So the CPA would be, um, Relieved to know that wasn't going in there because you know the, the, the fingers. If there was something to go wrong, right? You know they don't want it to point to them. Mm-hmm. And invariably, if they use the return that the client lied to them about, you know it, it, they don't want to be put in a position where the tax return serves the same purpose as some type of other attest type engagement, like an audit review or etc. Do you think someone should worry about like giving their bank statements? to a lender versus their tax return like is that going to trigger any kind of you know like like let's say you know on a mortgage that you're reporting like your income is higher than you are on your say on your tax return because that's technically what's happening here like when we do these mortgage pro- programs with bank statements we're saying okay they're actually making this much money um, and they're putting that on a mortgage application versus you know providing their tax return to the lender where the lender's going to look at the tax return and say, well, you got all these write-offs, these losses. And, you know, you're actually, you know, in, in our calculation, you only made, you know, five grand a month and, you know, say 60 grand for the year, but your bank statements are going to show that you made, you know, $200,000 for the year. So there's a big difference there, obviously. Is there any issues, do you think, with that, with, with you know, potential issues in the, along the, you know, in the future? Like if someone were to come back and audit and ask for your mortgage application and stuff? We have, we have seen that type of situation. Yeah. Um, we have. And, and you know, it, it's compatible. It doesn't, sure. I mean, if it's... Because there's not the, the write-offs are going to be, you know, allowed by the tax code. And, and it's something different where you might have a tax return and you wouldn't have a savvy originator who looks at this and figures out the adjusted gross income is, mm-hmm. you know, negative 100,000. Well, they don't understand that that was a, mm-hmm. you know, an NOL carryover from sure. 12 years ago that, right. that reduced it. So the bank statements would maybe more accurately reflect it. Right. Um, it. If it gets to the point where the IRS is comparing apples to apples, the return and the um, loan applications or loan documents, and, and there is a big unexplainable disparity, mm-hmm. it, it needs to be a full stop. Call a tax lawyer and talk to you. Yes. <laughs>